We're in Mauritius and staying at the Be Cozy Apart Hotel, self-catering in the little village of Truobish on the beach. Here we have it, the Be Cozy Hotel. And it's time to go and do some snorkeling on the reef. And there it is. Warm turquoise blue sea. One of the local handicrafts, Mauritius shipbuilding, and these are made from Burmese teak. And she's busy doing the rigging. Here we have the monkey god and the monkey goddess. And many hands make light work, you know. And five heads are better than one. River Gorge. Southwest coast of Mauritius. spent our first week 22 years ago.
We're now, now, now going to visit the Illusion Museum. The suitcases really rock. Yeah. They're made of lava. <laughs> and here is the ticket counter. And you don't call a spade a shovel, you call it a gate. Go Cape Town drought. Anyone for the loo? Hers and his. So of course no visit to a tea factory is complete without the dodo offering his cup of tea. And there's our worthy driver Ben. We're now going to have a little tea tasting ceremony. They produce two kinds of tea here, the ripe black tea, which takes about a year to process and ferment. And then the green tea, about eight weeks or so. In the centre of Mauritius, the highest point is Fort Adelaide, going back about 300 years, but never used in war. Port Louis, the capital of Mauritius, <clears throat> has a population of about 300,000. The only large town on the island. the horse racing track. In the famous gardens at Pampelamus. The Baobab that must be hundreds of years old. These are picnic date palms. The saw palmetto palms. Is used for treating prostate conditions. These are the biggest palm leaves in the world.
The Victoria lily, as they're called, were originally discovered in the um, Amazon forest in Brazil, brought here in the early 19th century. Once the flower has bloomed and is white, then a few days later it goes to violet, sinks down and can produce up to 500 seeds. And the largest leaves that have been recorded are up to three meters in diameter. And the lotus flowers. This palm with its roots above ground is known as the walking palm. It does in fact move very slowly. Sue's in a bit of a tangle there, getting stuck into the lianas. the giant cane palms. One of the many, many varieties of palm trees in Mauritius. This one is called the Wi-Fi palm. The extreme contrasts of Mauritius from these luxury beach resorts the way a lot of the locals live unfinished business throughout Mauritius because they have a bylaw that you only pay rates and taxes, property taxes, when your building is actually finished. So most of the houses in Mauritius are unfinished. And that sort of thing will be passed down from generation to generation. And that's where you buy your groceries. And that's where you live. And that's where you swim. Welcome to paradise for everybody from all walks of life. and your more upmarket, land-based restaurant. Your little beach restaurant, 